Hello everybody. In this video, I will solve an example problem. Our goal is analyzing this block diagram structure, which is a little bit complicated, and find the intercept function from u to y. Okay, so one way of solving this problem is directly writing the uh, signals and its relationships and uh, solving the algebra by hand, which is perfectly fine, and you can do that in a uh, quiz or midterm environment. Okay, so another technique is, uh, which is, I think, equally hard or equally easy, but it's structurally different, using block diagram operations and simplification techniques to manipulate the structure to obtain a single block from U to Y. This is how we can solve the problem today. Okay, so the problem is we have two feedback structures and they are coupled interconnected each other. I get feedback from this point, okay, which affects this node. And I obtain a feedback from this point, which affects this node. So I cannot direct isolate these two different feedback structures. And this is how I will approach the problem. Try to isolate these feedback structures such that I can manipulate or simplify them independently. Okay, so let's uh, assume that this is x of s let's assume that this is x of s okay it's a signal and we know that this is equal to x of s times h2 of s okay so our goal is to update x of s, h2 of s at this point by changing the structure a little bit so if i cut this uh, line of course i don't have now x2 of, x of s h2 of s because i have nothing at the input instead i will obtain a feedback from the output Okay, now this is y of s times h2 of s, which is not equal to x of s, h, h2 of s, right? Because I have gt of g3 of s here. Okay, but when I will do this, let's look at this. g3 of s. Now, I change this block diagram structure. Now, it is equal to h2 of s divided by g2 of s. Now, this is equal to x of s times g2 of s. Multiply with this structure, which is, as you can see, is equal to x of s times h2 of s. That's great, which means that now this is the same system. It's a different block diagram topology, but the same system. The advantage is now, as you can see, let's change the uh, color. This block diagram is isolated from the other parts of this. What I can do that, I can simplify this and at the end, and not at the end, at the intermediate step, I will have a much simpler block diagram structure okay so what is the transfer function let's call it i don't know this is y of s that's great a of s okay so okay so let's clean that let's call it a of s so the transfer function from a of s to y of s let's find it first okay which is very easy you will see that okay y of s divided by a of s is equal to the Feed forward part is equal to g2 of s and g3 of s. g2 of s, g3 of s, 1 plus h1 of s, g2 times g3. I will just remove the uh, s's to simplify the structure a little bit, right? Okay, g2 times g3 divided by 1 plus h1, g2, and g3. Okay, so. Let's redraw the block diagram structure, and you will see that it will be have a much simpler structure. Okay, this is nice. This is plus. This is negative. Okay, it's affecting here. Now this is equal to h two divided by g three. Okay, this is equal to g one here. Okay, and now this is equal to g2, g3, 1 plus h1, g2, g3. As you can see, we have a much simpler block diagram structure. Okay, so it was relatively easy, right, uh, for this part. It's u of s. Okay, so let's, so for, first of all, we don't need to separate g1 from the other parts. So what I do is I simplify it further. Okay. So this will be equal to g1, g2, g3, uh, divided by 1 plus h1, g2, and g3. Okay, uh, I have a clean solution in the lecture, so you can look at that. This is just for uh, getting the idea. Now this is a simple feedback structure. Okay, this is my g hat. Okay, this is my h hat. So y of s divided by u of s is equal to g hat 
divided by 1 plus g hat times h hat. Okay, so what is g hat? g1, g2, g3 divided by 1 plus h1, g2, g3 divided by 1 plus. Okay, that's great. So uh, this multiply with this. So g3 is uh, taken cancel with g3. So I will have g1, g2, okay, h2 divided by 1 plus h1, g2, g3. Okay, so in general, we don't want to uh, leave transfer function in this third form. We want to simplify them, okay? So y of s divided by u of s is equal to, okay? Okay, so what I have is, this is cancelled from each other. That's great. So I have uh, 1 plus h1 g2 g3 plus g1 g2 h2. Okay, that's great. And if I look at the technically the upper part, I think I will seem to obtain that g1 g1 g2 g3. I think everything should be correct now. Okay, let's check the results. Okay, g1 g2 g3 1 plus h1 g2 g3 g1 g3. Okay, we computed transfer function. So if we want to block diagram, this is of course equal to this simple single structure u of s and this is the okay technically we'll go to this side okay so a uh, block diagram simplification is easy you should be a little bit careful with what you are doing and when you manipulate structure you should be uh, ensuring that the block diagram transfer function input that time is not changing this is the whole idea you can try different things different operations uh, they are generally relatively simple but it's kind of easy to do mistakes such that when you change something, the dynamics can change a little bit, which is a little bit wrong. The whole idea is, uh, such as uh, I did at the beginning of the structure, is making sure that the dynamics is not changing. Only topology is changing. We are simplifying the topology such that at the end we have a single nice transfer function from input to the output.